USA Health hitting a huge milestone against COVID-19, administering its 100,000th dose today. Arlie Peck is on that story tonight. Nearly 11 months after administering their first dose of the COVID vaccine, USA Health has a lot to celebrate as they're now in the six digits. <laughs> Nurse practitioner Hannah Turner's booster shot marks USA Health's 100,000th dose. Make a difference in the world is what we need to do. Uh, you know, just one step closer, trying to get back to as normal as possible. While the long lines to get the shot have since dwindled, they're hoping it picks back up as the port city is still less than 50% vaccinated. It's decreased a little bit more, but we hope to see the demand increase as we enter the holiday seasons because we know that we um, still have a lot of work to do because as I mentioned, we are still only around 43% vaccinated in our community. On average, with their multiple locations, they administer between 75 and 100 doses a day. We have to make it accessible. We've realized that here we plateaued and who's able to come here has come. So we're continuing to go out. Our push and our perspective on this is to make the vaccine as available as possible to those who want it. Inform the people that haven't been vaccinated yet of what, what the opportunities are and what the benefits of vaccination are and then make it available for them. And among those now eligible to get the Pfizer vaccine, kids 5 to 11. We USA Health administering its first pediatric doses today and say it's a crucial step in beating the pandemic. Children, uh, when they get mild disease, they can be a source of uh, infection for adults, elderly people who are on them. So a way to protect older people, immunocompromised people, those who are at high risk, is to immunize children. In Mobile, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.